I'm Paul Klink with Double H News, and we're here from one of Hawaii's most famous beaches, Waikiki, where there's been a heated debate over a proposed law which attempts to balance between the rights of beachgoers and the rights of one of the ocean's oldest inhabitants. Hawaii State Assembly is considering passing into law a bill that would, in effect, make it illegal for box jellyfish to come within 300 feet of public beaches. With the rise in Hawaii tourism, the jellyfish law has been developing more momentum and is likely to pass within the next few months. If the bill becomes law, animal rights activists have said that the ramifications of other ocean creatures' rights may be in jeopardy as well. Double H News is here in Waikiki asking people, what do you think of the jellyfish law? Oh, oh we're going live. That's awesome. Don't worry, just two million people are watching. It's okay. Hi, Mom. Yeah. We're going live? Oh, wow. Thank you for being here. Yeah, only two, three million people. What? We're going live? Oh, glad you guys are here. <laughs> Holy cow. Maybe you Oh, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty reasonable because uh, they cause an awful lot of trouble when they come in close and they sting people. So it's not very comfortable to be stung by a jellyfish. I have um, basically no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> How can you keep jellyfish away from the shore? This is what I'm wondering. <laughs> Uh, personally, I think they have just as much of a right to be here. Um, I don't like to be stung, but it is, it is, uh, they're natural animals. They were here before us, so. I've been stung and it wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, they were just recently talking about the, the law or, or the jellyfish or the problem that's arising from the return of the jellyfish. But how can you stop them? Um, how can you stop them? Yeah, I don't know. I think there's much control you can really have over it. everything with uh, the jellyfish and whatever they feed off of. It can have a chain reaction if you was to actually uh, try to prevent that. So I think the long-term effects could be adversely affected. What do you feel about the jellyfish law? Same thing with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if I was one of the jellyfish, how would I feel? I, it's pretty hard to say. I mean. Uh, you know, not being a jellyfish, I wouldn't know how a jellyfish really feels, but... Uh... If you were a jellyfish, how would you feel? <laughs> Unwanted. <laughs> well, I would feel free to go anywhere I wanted to, yeah. <laughs> well, I'd probably go anywhere I want to, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't know what a jellyfish feels like. It's really difficult to decide. <laughs> if, if you were a jellyfish, how would you feel? Uh, squirmy. Well, basically the same thing. I think it's a good idea because they are dangerous, aren't they? Yeah, I've seen a documentary lately. I would maybe push it a little bit further. Maybe education would be. And if you make them aware, I think that uh, both for the environment and everything else, they will be very conscious and they will move on. How could you educate the jellyfish themselves? <laughs> <laughs> They're like kids. <laughs> and and how, how would you feel if you were a jellyfish? Bad. And so, if, if, why do you feel bad? Why? Well, jellyfish should be let in because that's just the way they are. That's what they do. Um, I dislike the jellyfish, so I, I'm in favor of the law. I don't think they should be around the beach. They hurt when they sting. Can you explain any more about it? It will make it illegal, as I understand it, for jellyfish to come within 300 feet of Waikiki Beach or any beaches around Oahu or Hawaii. Well. I don't much like getting stung by jellyfish. So you agree with the law? They shouldn't be allowed within 300 feet? No, it would depend on how this law was implemented, I guess. I think that it's, nat it's nature and just let it be. You know, don't mess with nature. And what should we do to a jellyfish if they come within 300 feet of, of Waikiki Beach? What'd you say? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I just don't think it's going to be a, a good thing for the environment. Can I ask why? Jellyfish have rights. Jellyfish have rights too. <laughs> In Germany, uh, we have no jellyfish, so I can't say anything about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's my opinion too. So, yeah. if, how would you feel if you were a jellyfish? <sighs> I think it's a it's a real good life in the ocean. So maybe I will come to the beaches too. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I would go out in the ocean. There's more space for me, and I will have a nice place there. Not me. I don't want to get stung. They hurt. <laughs> so, so do you think we should try to keep jellyfish away from the shore? 
<laughs> uh, the best you can do, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's that a good is idea. We're very weird. <laughs> How do you educate the jellyfish to stay within 300 feet away it, from the shore? That's it. the problem. I think it's impossible. <laughs> yes, when they decide to come over, they come over and that's it. And is so it? do you think this law would work on other ocean inhabitants such as sharks or, or barracuda? Well, fortunately, ridicule doesn't kill. <laughs> <laughs> If a jellyfish did break the 300 foot barrier, how would we punish the jellyfish? I don't think it's something that you can really control, so I uh, don't think it's going to re really be effective. So you do agree with this law then? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. You do? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they do not bother us anyway, because when we see the sign jellyfish, well, we keep away, that's all. Yeah. And if a jellyfish breaks a 300 foot barrier, how would we punish the jellyfish? I think yeah. harpooning is a good yeah. opinion. Yeah. Harpooning? <laughs> I agree. Harpo harpooning. <laughs> <Oxygen> Extermination. <laughs> And do you think this law should also be in effect for other ocean creatures, say sharks, barracudas? Absolutely. Uh, where are the sharks natural prey? Yeah, it's you know it's it's got to be got to be fair to all animals out there, whether they're land or sea. So, um, electrocute electrocute them or burn them or. <laughs> no, I would go for the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put them to sleep. Would the law work with other ocean inhabitants like sharks or eels or, or, or barracuda? I don't know. Do they eat them? Do the sharks eat jellyfish or whatever? I'd like to be a jellyfish maybe, but I think I'd stay out in the ocean. But I guess they love the beach. Love that because right now you're on HawaiiHumor.com. This is actually a joke newscast. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, you are such a good sport. <laughs> Because you're being pranked on HawaiiHumor.com. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you just got <laughs> HawaiiHumor.com, you're being pranked on right oh, now. No. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> you definitely really? got me. That's like HH News, Hawaii. Double H News. I didn't know this was. <laughs> Aloha. Hey, Aloha. Aloha. Phil, because you're being pranked right now on HawaiiHumor.com. And that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now you're being pranked on HawaiiHumor.com. I think it's an excellent solution. I think any box jellyfish that come in that close should be fined. I think they should, uh, yeah, uh, jellyfish law is fantastic. I mean, it'd be a great source of revenue for the state of Hawaii as well. And how, how would you enforce this law? Well, first you ticket them, and uh, and then you would, you know, uh, round them up and incarcerate them, and they'd have to stand, uh, you know, stand before the magistrate and, uh, you know, answer for themselves. Should they enforce the same law on sharks? Well, sharks should even pay a bigger fine. I mean, they don't just sting people; they just bite their heads off, and yeah, they cause a lot of damage. Um, because you're actually being pranked on HawaiiHumor.com. You've been pranked. You're being pranked on HawaiiHumor.com. <laughs> I thought I was pranking you guys. I don't know. <laughs> because right now you're being pranked on HawaiiHumor.com. <laughs> that was good. That was good. So how do you feel this law would be enforced upon the jellyfish? I have no idea. It's it's hard to say how this would work. So. Do you think this would work against sharks and barracuda and other ocean creatures? It could, it could. Again, there needs to be a balance. There really needs to be a balance between people and animals. You don't want to harm one or the other. That's my opinion. So, okay. That's all I, that's all I can say, right? Um, would you consider being in another show like this, if say a prank show like HawaiiHumor.com, which you're being pranked on right now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs>